Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Q&T. Yeah, Q&T um, did break out of this trend line to the upside, reversed basically just around the 50% retracement level there, and put in another high yesterday. Um, is this already a five-wave move? Well, could be. Um, I'm open to the idea that it now completed five waves to the upside. I have to say, though, a very, very sloppy um, and choppy and ugly five wave move that really would only work if I count this whole thing as a diagonal, which is not unlikely given how so many coins are doing that. But look at the proportions, looks completely awful. So I do not trust this move at all. However, I track it, but I tell you that it's not high confidence, not high probability, and that the wave count will probably change. In this scenario, if we allow it, then it would... So first of all, there was a small problem, given that this pullback was so deep. In an impulse, that's slightly problematic, wouldn't invalidate the pattern, but um, in a diagonal, we can allow a deeper way for than the 50% retracement level. So I'm quite happy with that to say, okay, maybe it was a diagonal. Why a diagonal? Well, first of all, because of the low wave four, then because we only have three waves up in wave five, that would be okay as an ABC structure. If the wave one was also an ABC, which is, it looks like, then we would have to assume that the wave three was also an ABC, which is okay, which is acceptable, um, because um, first of all, this microstructure is completely ugly, but then we can say we had look three waves up, A, B, C in an A wave, then we had a B wave down, and then five waves up in wave C. One, two, three, four, five. So I am not unhappy with that idea. Um, it's just not a pattern that you would normally trust. So what I will do now for everybody who wants to trade Q and T, um, I will add a support area, but I will highlight it in orange because I'm not confident that this is going to play out. It can do, and it is a reasonable interpretation, but I would not call that a high quality setup. So if we therefore now see a pullback into this wave two support area, then um, it needs to hold $89.12. So I will also add the 38.2 FIB level, even though we've basically already reached that. So this could have been the A wave of wave two. Uh, so let me take this box out. We don't need that anymore. Or maybe we just move that to the left. <clears throat> so the idea is if this is a wave two now, then it would unfold as an ABC structure. And this could be the A wave, get a B wave bounce, which might be unfolding right now. Yeah, and then if we now form a lower high and then another move down, um, this would likely be the C wave of wave two. If it escalates directly higher, hard to say. I don't think this is already all of wave two. We might then still... Um, it might then still be unfolding um, in wave five, okay? So yeah, this is my view at the moment. And I mean, if it comes into this area again, reverses, then the third wave can take us quite high. That's just a quick update about q and I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.